Hi, I'm back with the Fear of Foods video and my new inclusive diet. So I just wanna show you this plate for example. So I've been super afraid of cucumbers recently because of the lectins. I've been eating carrots. Uh, I have not been eating the dreaded tomato for nightshades. Um, I haven't been eating any of this bra broccoli or, or broccoli very often because of the thiols and the sulfur. Definitely haven't been eating any peppers because of the nightshades and celery is from my food sensitivity test and so I'm paranoid of celery. So the only thing that I would eat on this plate regularly would be carrots. So I'm going to make sure that I include all these vegetables every day and these can either be chopped up on top of my lunchtime salad, which I have right there, as you can see or they can be eaten separately with a dip. So I'm gonna be making three dips that I'm gonna eat every day. Guacamole, which I already do eat every day, so that is not a stretch. I'm gonna be making a salsa, which paranoids the living life out of me because it's peppers. Um, there's onions in here, which I try to stay away from, from the thiols. Um, it's got peppers, like the hot peppers, tomatoes it's like the epitome of nightshade so I'm so paranoid um, and I'm gonna be making a hummus with beans which is lectins and the chickpeas and I've been so afraid and so I'm going to every day have the avocado the salsa and the hummus for 30 days to see what in fact it does do to me and it's either going to be as a salad dressing or on my dinner menu meal or as a dip that I can dip my vegetables into. Okay, so for the salsa, let's just get started on this. We're just gonna quickly start on the salsa, okay? So uh, so the, the avocado is gonna be pretty easy. Like, it's just what I normally do. I just cut this open. I'm gonna do a little bit of lemon juice in there. And I need my paper towels. My paper towels are my stand right now for my for my uh, video, so there we go. Anyways, my real high-tech stand. Okay, so, and then I have to just kind of angle it up. Okay, so I'm gonna do, in one bowl, I'm just gonna do my um, guacamole, which is my avocados, my lemon juice, so I'll just cut a lemon in half and squeeze, and my sea salt. I've also been afraid of cilantro recently because of the detox reactions. I'm gonna go ahead and have it, but maybe I'll do that in the salsa and not in the guacamole. Oh, hang on. Okay, so that's how I make my, and I do a lot of sea salt, lots and lots of sea salt. That's how I really get a great flavor on the avocados. So there's the avocados, it's three ingredients. It's so easy and you just mash it up and it's gonna be delicious. It's gonna be fantastic and this is what I have every day anyway. And I am kind of paranoid recently about all the histamines in the avocado and whether they in fact are causing me reactions. But I'm just gonna ignore that and go ahead because they're full of potassium and they're full of everything. So. A number one, we have our nice chunky guacamole made. Super easy, right? Put that in my bowl, and I'm gonna go add that to my table, because as I said, I'm gonna either use it as my salad dressing or my dip for the day. So I'm just gonna go add this to what I'm gonna eat on the day. Okay, so next we're gonna make the salsa. So I've bought a like um, a salsa from the store. It's a mild salsa with diced tomatoes, jalapeno peppers, onions, and spices. This is all in the nightshade family, and I have to be honest, this scares me so much, like to death. Like, I would be the type of person, and I am the type of person for the last three years, hang on, who's basically, hang on, Goodness, can't even open a jar, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna use part of this as the base of my salsa just to cheat a bit. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and make it even better. I have some peppers here that I'm going to be eating through the week. It's paranoid me. I'm just going to stir it with half. I'm going to dice it up and throw it in. I'd be the type of person who would cut these up for my kids and my husband and then wash the knife, wash my hands, like just be so paranoid that it could get into my eyes or on my skin or on my mouth because nightshades are supposed to be causing so much inflammation and pain. And when you already suffer with pain and you hear that, you just go absolutely like scared, like so scared and develop this completely irrational fear of food. Maybe it's rational, maybe it's not. We're going to find out, but I'm not going to quit even after a week of reactions. I'm going to eat this for 30 days and we're going to find out what truly happens. So in it goes, all the peppers. I just want to be sure that I'm actually eating all the foods that I'm paranoid of. Here's some garlic. Again, paranoid city of the garlic lately, even though garlic's an amazing food for you. Because of my reaction on my genetic testing that says I'm sensitive to sulfur and thiols, I've been, the sulfur, I've been completely afraid of garlic, which is nonsense in my opinion. It's just so hard. So again, we're just mixing that in there. And I'm going to cut tomatoes just to really make sure that I'm eating them. So... Got a bunch of tomatoes here and I'm going to dice them up. And again, I would salivate at my kids and my husband and be so jealous when I made like tomatoes in their salads and tomatoes. They would have tomatoes on everything. And I would be so jealous and just missing them so much. And there's a few things wrong with tomatoes according to a lot of health circles. First of all, they've got all these seeds, which is lectin. So if you've ever done the lectin avoidance diet, you're scared of tomatoes for that reason. And if you've ever done the autoimmune paleo diet, you're super afraid of them because of the nightshade. So again, but if, again, these have amazing vitamin and mineral and nutrient content in them. And They've got lycopene and all kinds of vitamin C and amazing benefits that are actually known to, you know, to heal the body and to reverse cancer and diseases. And I'm tired of being afraid of them. I've been afraid of them so long. It's summer, I'm watching everybody in my family eat all these healthy foods, fruits and vegetables, and I'm staying away from them. And I'm thinking, what am I doing? How did my diet shift this far? How did I get this far that I'm so afraid? So now you can see it's a nice chunky, chunky, chunky salsa. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the bowl. Oh my God, it looks so good. And I'm like salivating. It looks so good. Look at that. Like you can't tell me that that doesn't look amazing, right? Oh, I didn't even chop my cilantro. All right, I'll go ahead and chop my cilantro and put it in there. I've got to put it back in the bowl. So again, just toss it in. Add in some cilantro, which of course can give you detox reactions, but everybody knows it's healthy for you, right? And I've been afraid and paranoid to continue to eat cilantro after, you know, some pretty major detox reactions and wondering if this is just not my genetic code to eat cilantro. So again, I'm tired of being afraid. So I'm just going to go ahead and stir that in. That looks even more delicious. I'm gonna pour it in the bowl. And again, I'll use this for salad dressings, for dipping my fruits and vegetables, or for on my dinner meal. So again, doesn't that look just amazing? Let me go ahead and put it over here. I have these beet chips that I buy. They're called crunchy dry beets. It's kind of cheating, but the only ingredient in here is beets and they're air popped. So I'm gonna go ahead and have the salsa with these delicious dried air popped beets. I'm gonna go ahead and set this on the, my food and then I'm not gonna be paranoid and wash my hands and absolutely go crazy. My vegetables are gonna follow me. 
Oh my God, I'm just freaking out about having to eat these tomatoes. I am so paranoid, this is so ridiculous. It's absolutely 100% ridiculous to be this afraid of tomatoes and nightshade vegetables. Okay, so now I'm gonna make hummus. Again, equally afraid. I'm gonna take this can of organic garbanzo beans, which I used to love hummus and make it all the time until I decided that lectins were the devil and they were going to destroy my health. Well, all the healthiest people in the world, according to the Blue Zones, it's never really resonated with me because they all eat beans and they live longer. And so I'm afraid of the inflammation. I'm afraid of extra pain. But how can they be so bad? I mean, vegans have been eating beans for so long. And I'm just going to rinse them and put them all in my food processor without a care in the world, even though I do have a care in the world. I'm going to open up and use my tahini. I've been off seeds lately because of the lectins. And put in a big heaping tablespoon. It's probably about three tablespoons. I'm going to use sunflower butter, even though you don't normally use it in um, hummus, but I'm going to be doing this because my food sensitivity chart use a tablespoon says I'm says sunflower seeds are really high and I just I haven't been getting enough vitamin E and I know they're really high in vitamin E and I definitely want to just give it a go so I'm not going to be doing adding nuts to this diet it's going to be all fruit and vegetables with some healthy fish and meat and basically um some seeds but I'm gonna try to still avoid the nuts and everything else. So these are sun-dried tomatoes. I love sun-dried tomatoes. And I'm the only one who is gonna be eating out of this jar, so don't worry that I'm sticking my fingers in it. But I'm going to go ahead. Sorry, I just wanna do this quickly because I don't have all the stuff I would normally do with all the knives and forks and everything handy. Anyways, put some sun-dried tomatoes in here for a flavor. And I'm also going to take my can of artichokes, which I'm afraid of a histamine reaction in the artichokes. Um, I'm going to strain them and go ahead and put artichokes. So I'm going to make basically artichoke, garbanzo bean, sun-dried tomato, hummus. And it's going to be so good. I'm not going to need oil. I'm going to stay away from oils in this diet, even though been traditionally high, I'm not going to need them with all these vegetables. I'm going to get some lemons, lemon juice. Here's uh, some lemon juice from Italy, 100% pure. olive oil because I've got enough oily vegetables in there and I'm going to throw in some sea salt. There we go. And that should be delicious when it's done. I'm going to put it in this bowl. Well, that's mixing up because I make, like it nice and creamy. I'm going to tell you about my dinner. Okay, I'm totally paranoid of starches. Totally. 100% since I did gaps and since I've had sea bones, since I've done anything. So I'm going to take sweet potatoes and put them, organic sweet potatoes, and put them in my pressure cooker. And I'm going to have one sweet potato a day. I'm going to go for the starch. I'm going to saute up kale. I've been so afraid of kale from the um, files. And I'm going to go ahead and saute up some broccoli, which is here in garlic, okay? So garlic, coconut oil, um, kale, and sweet potatoes. And I am going to top that with either a little bit of grass-fed beef, lamb, chicken, or fish. And tonight I think I'm gonna do fish. So I'm gonna do like this wild haddock that I caught, or not that I caught, but that I got from the store, wild haddock tonight. So it's going to be sweet potatoes, kale cooked in garlic, and um, broccoli, nice green,